guys welcome back to the channel as usual i am your host selassie Fioi. so today is subscribe if you have not and click on the notification bell to get more updates so as you're all aware or some of you might be aware guinea uh, were supposed to take on morocco today in a world cup qualifier in fact the moroccans are already in corner creek guinea uh, but unfortunately that game will not come off uh, because of the volatile situation in guinea at the moment uh, there is a cool uh, detail that has been officially undertaken uh, to remove the sitting president and uh, fifa have officially made a statement that they are closely monitoring the situation and will give an update on what to do accordingly but for now that game today has been suspended in case you are wondering it has been suspended and it will not come off unfortunately for the moroccan players who are already in Guinea. Also, you'd remember that Accra had to folk also have an assignment in Guinea in the CAF Champions League. Well, it's not clear what FIFA or CAF are saying about that right now, but it looks more likely that either the game will be played in a neutral venue or Accra had to folk will be giving a walkover into the next stage of the CAF Champions League. Remember the preliminary stages play two matches uh, before you get to the group stages so a crowd of hope might now go to the next stage uh, which if uh, they falter they will get into the CAF confederations cup so we are waiting for an update on fifa and CAF from CAF on that front uh, see what happens to the phobians who are wondering what next after uh, this unfortunate situation in guinea at the moment also yesterday and there was an amazing supposed to be an amazing game brazil versus argentina it was called off however because comnable health officials from comnable came onto the pitch uh, to sack three premier league players emmy martinez included of aston villa uh, they unfortunately did not quarantine for the 14 days as is expected of players who come from the united kingdom and because of that the game was suspended and didn't take place at all uh, the comnable do not joke with their health issues because of coronavirus still ravaging that region so the game between brazil and argentina was called off uh, because of all those things so we'll move on to the ghana game and before i give you my predictions and thoughts ahead of the game uh, this is a profile of the referee that will be taking charge of that game he's a zambian referee uh, called Johnny sikazwe he has been appointed as the center referee of this game south africa versus ghana and now the 42 year old fifa referee will be assisted by compatriot chanza kabwe assistant one chikotesa tikotesha diana assistant two and kafuli Derek, fourth official luinda leslie leonard from tanzania will be serving as the referee assessor with Dlamini Zide Gilbert from HYD acting as the match commissioner. A referee Sikaswe was one of the referees at the 2015 African Cup of Nations in Equatorial Guinea. He refereed the 2016 FIFA Club World Cup final in Japan and the 2017 African Cup of Nations final in Gabon. He was selected to officiate the 2018 World Cup in Russia and made his debut in the Belgian versus Panama Group G game on 18 June uh, to become the first Zambian referee to officiate a game at the FIFA World Cup Finals. The Black Stars are, are currently in Johannesburg for a crucial game uh, with South Africa after winning their opening game versus Ethiopia 1-0. Uh, the South Africans also are eager uh, to get uh, back to winning ways after drawing 0-0 with zimbabwe it's sure to be an interesting game and i think that uh, in light of the past performances between the two teams uh, ghana might have an edge here yes i know the performance have a look at the jama session from the black stars players and also uh, from their final training session a few clips but before i leave i leave you with this amazing gesture that was shown by mubarak wakasu uh, he gave this commentator here at the Ethiopia game. Apparently, uh, the physically challenged commentator was running commentary. He was allowed inside the inner perimeter uh, using a wheelchair that was donated by Mubarak Wakasu. After the game, the exchange pleasantries, and this is an amazing gesture uh, from Wakasu, which I thought should be celebrated. Great move there by Mubarak Wakasu. Ahead of this game, wish him all the very best and 
blessings and blessings upon him for doing this for this man here who is obviously passionate about the game of football let's have a look at the videos i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day